Good morning. Welcome to the Wax Wake Up for Wednesday, September 13th. I'm Christy Matino. Hollywood came to Washington, D.C. on Tuesday night as the new documentary called Route 60, The Biblical Highway, held their premiere at the Museum of the Bible. The film shows the 146-mile journey on Route 60. It's also known as the Path of the Patriarchs. The film is hosted by former U.S. Ambassador to Israel David Friedman and former U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. We were able to catch up with both of them at the premiere last night. What is the thing you're most looking forward to here tonight? I want to see how people react when they see it on the big screen. I've seen it. I know we'll have people of every faith here tonight. We'll have people who, uh, have, have, who aren't faithful here tonight. And I know they'll all take away something really important from this movie. What I'm excited about is I'm basically taking um, something that I love, which is biblical Israel. Um, and, I'm, and, and, you know, I had the unique ability with Mike to see it, you know, in ways that the public normally doesn't. Not all this stuff is easy to uh, access, but it's spectacular. And Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is going after his GOP opponent, former President Donald Trump, over his age, suggesting he's too old to competently be president. In a new interview, DeSantis drew a comparison between 77-year-old Trump and 80-year-old President Joe Biden. He claimed their ages made it difficult for them to perform their tasks as president competently, and DeSantis said his younger age would allow him to be seen by voters as a fresh new generation. Presidency is not a job for someone that's 80 years old, and there's nothing you know, wrong with being 80. Obviously, I'm the governor of Florida. I know a lot of people who are elderly. They're great people. But you're talking about a job where you need to give it 100%. You need, we need an energetic president. This comment comes as renewed calls for term limits in Congress have come from both the Democrats and Republicans which have ramped up within recent months over concerns over Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell's health and poll numbers showing voter concerns over Biden's age. And House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer is now saying he has leads on tracing the $10 million bribe that President Joe Biden allegedly received. Have you been able to trace that $10 million, do you believe? We're, we're still looking for that. Well, I, as you know, we found you have $20 any million. Dollars? We do have leads. Uh, we believe and suspect that there are uh, offshore accounts, but that's something we'll discuss later. However, Comer didn't provide any more details beyond that. Now, for some context on all of this, the payment is documented on an FBI-generated form, which was released by Senator Chuck Grassley in July. In that document, a confidential FBI informant told the Bureau the head of Ukrainian energy company Burisma, where Hunter Biden sat on the board, had allegedly claimed he had funneled $5 million to Joe Biden when he was vice president. $5 million was also sent to Hunter Biden in an alleged exchange for pressuring the Ukrainian government to fire Viktor Shokin, the country's lead prosecutor who is believed to be investigating Burisma. Thanks for joining us here on The Wax Wake Up. Be sure to follow us online and on social media so you stay in the know of all those headlines trending in politics.